Hey guys, this is Alex with AutoX, where we have some of the weirdest, strangest cars on YouTube. And another one, living up to our usual situation, we have a Hiace. Probably haven't seen one of these. This is a ex-Fire Chief Ambulance from Japan. Um, and it, it's a 1992 Hiace. It's 4x4. It sports the 3L diesel engine. Now this chassis code is the LH129. That means this is the longest and tallest high ace that ever came out of Toyota's factory. Which makes it a really good choice for an overland build, a camper conversion, or just hauling stuff. As you can see, we've got the rear bay door open here. We'll take a look up front first. So this is an ambulance spec from Toyota. We've got a maroon red vinyl interior. There's a number of screw holes in the dash from all the uh, ambulance and fire equipment that was prior installed on here. This is a five speed floor shift with your high and low transfer case. So you'll see those down there, and those are really what make this an extra special unit because it's just got that four x four high and low transfer case proper system. It's not an all wheel drive, full time four wheel drive system. This is a rear wheel drive until you lock those front hubs and engage the four x four. So there's a tremendously tall rear hatch here, which goes all the way up to the roof. You see it's hinged at the top there. It means you've got just extreme space. Um, this factory step up bumper. And these came white from Toyota. This one was resprayed in a really thick single stage red as per fire spec in Japan. So we'll take a look inside here. Massive storage. Now this high roof is about five foot one interior standing height. So some of you ladies may be able to stand in here. I can't, but it's certainly better than your average van. You can hunch around and make your way around the space with a little more ease than you would in something shorter. We have a drop down jump seat right here, which is handy, and that has seat belt as well as double fold up benches in the rear. These fold up, and then you have storage underneath. Very accessible. It gives you, you know, a good foundation for a potential camper, which is, I mean, that's really what this is asking to be made into. Now, I could certainly make a very stout work truck. You essentially have a massive cap. It's like a truck bed with a huge cap that's climate controlled. Um, but personally, I would turn it into a camper if it was me. If you look around the front end again, you'll notice we have the light truck spec mirrors here which give you tremendous visibility front, right, and left for those three mirrors. The driver's seat, you'll notice uh, clean door cards. There's a little rip here on the vinyl, but this seat is otherwise like new. There's 120,000 kilometers on the clock, which is about 70,000 miles or so. Barely broken in for this 3L diesel engine. We added some uh, Toyota OEM all-weather three-piece floor mats for the front row here. And this is fitted with full climate control. You have heat, AC, all of that. Even the original AM, FM deck. probably wondering what this is down here, what it is, 
is a battery compartment where your engine battery is actually stored. I'll open it for you. It opens with your main engine key. And you have a big old battery here on a sliding tray. Again, you do have your ASIN front manual locking hubs. Let's see if we can uh, fire it up for you. Step in, give you the driver's seat perspective tour. So you've got your five on the floor here. Standard shift pattern, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then reverse down here. Um, you've got your transfer case right here, which engages your high and low gear. Um, we'll fire it up. This is a battery, uh, sorry, this is an ambulance, so it's fitted with a battery kill switch down here. That kills your battery um, for really from ever getting drained of anything parasitic, so you want to make sure that's switched on before you go ahead, turn it on, wait for the glow plugs, go. Fires right up. That's pretty much the gist of it, guys. This is a super utilitarian base spec ambulance spec from Toyota, five speed, 4x4, four 3L, four, super rare. These things are not common and they're getting rare every year. To find one of these that's spec like this, it's ready to go. We've uh, gone through it here and we'll be having it up for sale on our site. So feel free to reach out, ask any questions. If you're curious about it or any of the other rigs that we work on or just passionate about these things, um, let us know what you think. Would you want to convert this to an ambulance? Is this something you guys would consider using for your adventures? Why, why not? Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and walkthrough. As always, I love doing them and I hope to bring you many more as time goes on. So, signing out over here and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.